Welcome to our online. Now let's talk about what a series is. Up until now we talked about sequences. Now what is a series? Well it turns out a series is exactly the same as a sequence with the only difference that you put plus signs between the terms. When you add up all the terms of a sequence you get an infinite series. Provided of course that you have an infinite sequence to begin with. So when you add all the terms of an infinite sequence you get an infinite series. Now there are different kinds of series. There are those that converge to a particular number when you add up all the terms, no matter how many there are, even if there are an infinite number of terms. And then there are series when you add all the terms together, you get an infinite sum. The ones that converge to a particular number, those are the most useful type of series and we'll deal mostly with those type, but we will learn how to tell the difference between them. Now here's an example. If we have an infinite series that is 1 over 2 to the n, where n goes from 1 to infinity, and you add up all the terms. So here's what we call a practical application. When every consecutive term becomes smaller, and is less than 1. Now sometimes the terms individually could be greater than 1, but you want them to become smaller and smaller and smaller to the point when you add them all together, they convert to a single number. In this case, they're all smaller than 1. And so your first term is 1 over 2, because that's 2 to the first power. 1 over 4, that's 1 over 2 to the second power. 1 over 2 to the third power, and so forth. And of course, you can then have an infinite number of terms. Notice they get smaller and smaller and smaller. And the, the term then looks like 1 over 2 to the n power as n goes to infinity. Strangely enough, when you add them all together, they add up to exactly 1. And we'll see some very interesting series like that. Now there's two main types of series. One is what we call the arithmetic series, the other one is called the geometric series. There's a lot of similarity again to the sequences we just talked about. An arithmetic series is simply where the next term in the series is the previous term plus a constant. So therefore there's what we call a common difference between every single of the terms. What we do is we subtract the previous term from the next term and the difference between them always will equal to the same constant number. There are what we call geometric series in such a way that the next term is a constant times the previous term. So therefore we have what we call a common ratio. If you take the next term and divide it by the previous term, that ratio will be equal to a constant number and that's the case for every single ratio of two terms, one next to the other. For example, let's take two of these terms. Let's take the next term, 1 over 8, and divide it by the previous term, which is 1 over 4, which is equal to 1 over 8 times 4 over 1, which is equal to, that would be 1 half, which means the common ratio of any two terms in this series is equal to 1 half. And therefore, the series that we have up here is what we call a geometric series. You can see that you cannot add a constant number to each term and have the next term appear that way. So in this case, it's a geometric series, not what we call an arithmetic series. And that's the introduction to series, or no. That's the introduction to the series, and we'll see some good examples to get a better understanding of what these things are. And that's how we do it.